what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are unboxing a $25,000 Supreme Mystery Box from Project Blitz. Now, as you can see the size of this mystery box, it looks massive. Well, let's look inside and see what the actual box looks like. It's actually a tiny box. They sent me this tiny box and I was like, this is really the $25,000 mystery box? And they said, yes, this is it. This is literally, how is this $25,000 of the Supreme? Well, we're about to find out. So you guys know, Project Blitz, they are home of some of the most expensive, most insane shoes in the actual world. And we did a recent video with them, we did a lot with them. And this time I wanted to switch it up. Instead of doing a sneaker mystery box, I said, I know you guys have a crazy Supreme collection. Let's do a Supreme mystery box and give me a good value. And they said $25,000 is definitely doable. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. Now, pricing on this stuff is gonna be hard to find stuff, I guess, because it's like older. Supreme's not, a lot of the stuff might be older. So let's let's just see what we got. There's paperwork in there with an address. We got the Blitz sticker right there. Shout out Project Blitz. And let's just see. And to start off, right off the front, we have a Supreme Louis Vuitton box logo t-shirt. This is a size 3L. If you remember back in the day, we had one of these. We had my size, I believe, when we did the Supreme LV mystery box. And I actually wore it a few times and I ended up getting rid of it because I don't really wear box logos like that too much, but check it out. This is from the Louis Vuitton Supreme collab back in the day. This is my size too. Check that out. You got the LV print on the box logo. This is one of the better pieces from the collection, I feel like, because it doesn't like scream Supreme LV. Box logos are a little bit harder to wear and it's a Louis Vuitton shirt and I think retail on this was probably 485. Now, we gotta look up the prices of these because the sneakers I kinda know nowadays, but these I don't really know. So Supreme LV Box Logo T going for $1,500 right now. For a t-shirt, to me, I can't wear a t-shirt at $1,500 when it's like this. This is like one that you keep that's rare that you have to keep dead stock forever. I don't know, maybe that's just me. These are also easily faked because it's a t-shirt with a logo on it. It's $1,500, so somebody's gonna make it for 10 and uh, go ahead and try to scam some people. But that's a really, really good start. So that's $1,500 starting off strong. It looks like we're having a, bu a bunch of t-shirts here. Next up, is this a Burberry Supreme? This is definitely older. Check this out here. Okay, so this is actually a crazy. This is an original 1997 Supreme box logo Burberry tee. That is crazy from 97. Let's pull this out. Wow, check that out. Obviously, it's a simple logo t-shirt but you got the original Burberry box logo right there from 1997. That is, how many years old? 26 years old now. Do you think that thing's ever been unfolded? I don't know. First time here, baby. 1997 box logo, that is crazy. Finding values on these things is gonna be so difficult, but I'm seeing the comps in the $1,500 range, so right around that Supreme LV range. But look at the difference, and like, we'll pull out some of the other ones, but look at the Supreme logo here, so the tag. You look underneath, it has the large there, USA. These have definitely evolved and changed over the years. And uh, obviously it's just a white t-shirt with a print on it, but it is interesting to see how it has evolved since the origination of Supreme when it came out in the 90s. So another two white box logos right there to start off. And there, I already saw another T, but I'm gonna see if I can find something else in here. Something different, let's see. That's why it's packed in this small box. I think we're gonna, it's gonna be a lot of clothing in here. Let's pull up the next one. Here we go. Another Supreme Tee. This, this is gonna be the Damien Hurst box logo. And I believe we've had this one before in a box. So, yeah, I, I, yeah, we definitely had to have this. So, as you can see right here, another white. You can see the logo is barely visible there, but you have the dots there. That's what, let me know that it's Damien Hurst. We've also had this one before. It's a size large. And again, this is another brand new shirt. And then they have the details on the backs right there. Boom, I can't say that. I might have to blur that out for YouTube's sake. But uh, it has some little bit of curse words on there, but actually it's a really cool one. The Damien Hurst box logo, and this, as you can see, the difference in like the blanks that they use, the neck lining on this, I love. So this one was from around 2009, 2010, I believe. So about 13-ish years now. So we used to do a lot of these mystery boxes and get some of the older vintage Supreme stuff, and this is definitely a really good one. I remember one of the craziest hitters we had was the Futura box logo. That one, remember, wasn't that worth like $5,000 or something? That was definitely a crazy tee. That tea. was crazy tee. So we got a lot of, cra oh my gosh, this is gonna, this is literally a box logo mystery box. This is all box logos. Check this one out. I don't know about this one. This is a yellow box logo with a pen on it. I had to look this one up. 
I don't know what this one was. This is a 2004 Malolkin box logo. Now, Andre Malolkin is an artist. I think, I'm not sure. I don't want to get it wrong where he's out of. And this is the box logo he did for 2004. Wow. This looks like it's used because it looks washed, but check that out. It's like a kind of like a blue ink scribble pen box logo there in the yellow. I don't know if this came in different colors. I assume so. I think it came in white too. And this one, looking at the comps and everything, looks like it's about $550. So check that out. All my Supreme heads out there are gonna eat this one up. Jacob Starr, I know you're watching this. I know you're loving this and you're probably hating that I don't know a lot of these off the top of my head. But this is a cool box logo here. Not one that I know and know much about the historical value behind it, but it is cool. I can kind of tell that it's like drawn on blue pen. So that, another great one there. And it just keeps going. Okay, I see some really good ones in here already. Some that I still know. Now, this one, this one's crazy. This is a Japan relief box logo. So check this one out. Oh, is this brand new? Size XL. This came out in 2011. And check this out. You obviously have the box logo there, red and white, super clean and simple. The era of the box logo is like, it's definitely not what it used to be. People are not buying it like that. But if you check out the back here, you have the Japan Earthquake Relief, 2011, United We Stand. So Supreme did this box logo for that. And they also did another one like this for COVID back during everything that was happening back then. I'm not sure if that one would be in here, but this is definitely a really cool staple piece. I feel like a lot of these have gone under the radar in terms of like, people don't care about this stuff as much anymore. And these are like, historic and maybe it'll make its comeback again like SB's did but that's just insane because I know a lot of people have been on on Supreme for a while so this one is going to be the Kermit I don't know you wouldn't call it a box logo the Kermit Supreme tea which has Kermit in a box logo which is so sick oh my gosh this is amazing never seen this in person that is crazy this is the original Supreme Kermit right there the Muppet Studio LLC on there all white, and these aren't even like faded. They're, they're really not, they're in great condition. Let's see, the Muppets tee, the Kermit tee from 2008, $1,000. $1,000 for that t-shirt right there. So, Nick, would you rather have a $1,000 Supreme tee or a $1,000 Louis Vuitton tee from the store? Ooh, definitely that t-shirt right there. <laughs> this one's crazy. I've seen like so many people make prints of this and they have posters of it that you can buy on like Etsy and stuff, but this is the original tee right there and it still has remnants of the original Supreme tag that was on there. So back in the early 2010-ish era. And like I was talking about the tags earlier, this is from like 2011, Supreme pre-shrunk 100% cotton. Underneath you have machine washable, blah, 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 blah. So the tags definitely changed over the years. This one was in an Ikea bag. I don't think that's uh, original there. So let's keep going. Oh, oh my gosh. Bro, this is crazy. This is the Supreme Hebrew box logo. This is another early 2000s box logo. All right, check this out. You have the Hebrew box logo right there, the red. This is from 2004-ish era, so early on at Supreme. And on the back, check this out, you have the address for Los Angeles, California, 439 North Fairfax Avenue, back when Fairfax was the place to be. Fairfax is not the same as it was back in the day, but really cool tea. Hebrew tea there. This thing is brand new also, which is insane. I'm gonna try to put a little like uh, information pop-ups on the screen so you guys can get more of like the history behind some of the pieces rather than the extent that I'm able to tell you here. But this is a huge, oh my gosh, the Supreme LV. So I had to look up the year on this. This is the original Supreme Louis Vuitton box logo from the year 2000. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys the value on the lot, on the Hebrew. Let me let me look that up real quick. Hebrew tea, fifteen hundred dollars. Whole box, a thousand dollar T-shirt. Literally, thousand dollars a pop. Now, this one, I looked at the value at the same time, two thousand dollars for this. Because you can see the kind of the aging of it from the year two thousand. Now, seeing that it's a little bit faded like that makes me believe that it was pro it's probably used, or maybe it's new and it's just because it's so old. It's twenty three years old now. Again, a blank white tee, and then the LV box logo on the front. This box logo was the origination that led to this getting the full crazy LV drop that happened back in the day back in the day 2019 which is what four years ago now jeez 
It's been four years already. We're gonna take a break because we're teaming up with Project Blitz to give away a pair of Olive Travis Scotts. Let's cut to that real quick. All right, guys, it is giveaway time. We have a big one today. We're giving away a pair of Olive Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's. Incredible new release. Super excited about this, and the rules are very simple. One, subscribe to the YouTube channel, which will be a button down below. Number two, go ahead and follow me at Harrison Neville over on Instagram. Number three, follow at Project Blitz over on Instagram. Number four, there'll be a picture up on the screen that's on my Instagram of me holding this sneaker right here. And you have to go over and comment on that picture and tag two friends on that post. We'll be picking the winner in three weeks from today and you'll get your size. So glad to team up with Project Blitz for this and make sure you guys get your pair. This has been my favorite so far this year, I think. All right, we're back and we have more. And oh my gosh, guys, there are so many box logos in here. All right, next up. Another white screen box logo. So what I remember about this tee is this is from the opening of the Shibuya store for Supreme and it has the bullet holes in it. And let's see if it has the text on the back. This one feels a little bit newer. Nope, just has the hole on the back as well. Got one on the back, two on the front. And then we have a little date down here in the bottom corner. This is the Shibuya box logo, I believe. That's what people call it. Um, I've seen these on eBay a lot. This is, a, this is one that's very, very popular. 2012, this came out, and this one, can you take a guess at how much it might be worth, Nick? I'd say 1,200. 1,000 bucks, just like the other ones. Crazy, oh my gosh, I'm seeing some old ones in here. Some stuff that I have no clue about. I feel like I'm not the one to be unboxing these because they're so historical and crazy. So, this one here, this isn't like a, I can't even tell what that is. Check that out up close. So I think this is, the Jackson Pollock box logo, $2,000. That's insane. I, I believe this is the Jackson Pollock box logo. This one's from 19, I believe it is because you can tell by the coloring and stuff that it's an older one. So I believe this like 1999, God, that's 24 years old now. This is insane how many freaking, there's so many box logos in here. Oh my. There's like five left, but I just saw one that's like, that's, mm. That one's actually insane. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I should save that. Bro. I'm gonna pull that one out. This is the most famous. I'm not people get mad say it's the most famous box logo. This is the Virgil Abloh box logo that came out and I believe 2019. There's that famous picture. Bro, this thing's like 10 grand. Yeah, this is the MCA box logo and obviously that famous photo of Chief Keith wearing this box logo I've never seen the only time I've seen this is in a case at the museum check that out that is insane and I know it's so simple but the fact that this is Virgil's box logo I've never seen this even anywhere up close besides in a freaking I don't even know how many they came out with of these that is crazy and yes the comps online are showing this is around ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars for a t-shirt i feel like we're never going to see this again like once we have this after this video i feel like this is never going to be seen again it's absolutely crazy oh my gosh there's so many freaking box logos we have five more six five or six more left i don't i don't even have the knowledge i don't have the space in my brain to have the knowledge in all of these one that i do see that i know is a supreme bait box logo so this one is one of the, this is the green bait box logo right there. Check that one out. This one, it's size large. This one goes, this one's from 2002, goes for about $1,600. $1,600 is kind of the rough range of price. I'm gonna try, I've been, I feel like I've been talking a lot on these. I'm gonna try to fire through some of these. Ooh, here's another bait tee right there. Check that out. That's kind of like the pink with the, is that like pink or is that like the color changing? So I feel like it was probably white before, and maybe that's like color that died through there. And then we have, let's see right here. Actually, I need to look at the price of that one. So this Bape Tee is $1,500. Then this is the Supreme 2002 9-11 box logo. This, wow, that's crazy. I've never seen this one in person. The Supreme 9-11 box logo from 2002. Obviously, everybody knows what happened on 9-11 in 2001. Just the history of this. Dude, look at the fading on that. These need to be in like all framed and in the case somewhere. I kind of don't even want to unfold this one. I just want to see if there's any uh, any writing or anything on it. Oh, there is. Oh, man. I've never known that this is on the bottom. Oh, my gosh. On the bottom, it says New York, home of the bravest. That is so crazy. New favorite t-shirt out of the box. That is so cool. Oh, dude. And you can like 
very faintly see the supreme outline in that. The way that they did that American flag is gorgeous. That's crazy, dude. This is only 500 bucks too. This one goes for $500, that's crazy. This is one that, I after this, I'm like, these all need to be framed and like imagine the wall of my warehouse just framed with all of these tees. That's like a museum right there. We got two left. This is the Supreme Moax. So this is an unreleased box logo. There are only 50 made. I think, I believe. 50 made unreleased box logo. Oh, let's go, look at the back. Got the logos on the back, got an unreleased one. And again, I feel like the pink here on the box logo has to do maybe the aging and like the colors bleeding a little bit. I'm not sure. This has gotta be worth a little bit more. I, I saw an eBay ad for this one. So this last one, I have no clue what it is. I believe it's the, I mean, I know, I think it's the Harajuku box logo. Yep, from 2006, size extra. This one's really cool, cause it's like snake skin. So nothing on the back for this one, but it's kind of like a snake skin. This one came out in 2006, really, oh my gosh, that feels crazy. This is in such good shape for 2006. Wow, that was a lot of box logos. And I know this is a little bit different from what we get for Project Blitz, what we get in general, but I feel like it's really cool to switch it up and put some like insane history behind some of these hype pieces because this is stuff that was starting off that got us to where we are here with these. So shout out Project Blitz for sending that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Harrison, signing out.